This alliance in the future as in the past will provide security and stability against risks. Change, if it is to be peaceful, and if it is to be successful, requires stability. And that can only come from our alliance. But we are adapting our military as well as our political strategy to new realities and to our future aspirations. Heads of state and government have given a powerful impetus to this process. To be sure, a sound and certain defense remains essential and is the basis for our approach. But historic change now gives us the opportunity to develop a new approach to security, one that builds also on reassurance and on cooperation. At long last, we have the chance to make, for the first time in history, military aggression in Europe materially impossible and also politically meaningless. I am pleased to announced that my colleagues and I have begun a major transformation of the North Atlantic Alliance, and we view it as a historic turning point. Uh, NATO has set a new path for peace. It's kept the peace for 40 years, and today uh, charted a new course for stability and cooperation in Europe. Uh, the London Declaration transforms our relationship with old adversaries. Uh, to those governments who confronted us in the Cold War, our alliance extends the hand of friendship. We reaffirm that we shall never be the first to use force against other states in Europe, and we propose a joint declaration between members of the alliance and member states of the Warsaw Pact, uh, which uh, other CSCE states could join in, uh, making a solemn commitment to non-aggression. Uh, we say to President Gorbachev, come to NATO. Uh, we say to all the member states of the Warsaw Pact, come to NATO and establish regular diplomatic uh, liaison with the alliance. And second, the L London Declaration transforms the character of NATO's conventional defenses. Uh, we can start and must start by finishing uh, the current CFE talks this year. Uh, once CFE is signed, uh, we would begin follow-on negotiations to adopt additional measures including measures to limit manpower in Europe. Uh, with this goal in mind, a commitment will be given uh, when the CFE treaty is signed concerning the manpower levels of the armed forces of a united Germany. Uh, we will also seek in the 90s to achieve further far-reaching measures to limit the offensive capability of conventional armed forces. Uh, we'll change our strategy for conventional defense. We agreed to move away from NATO's current strategy of forward defense uh, to a reduced forward presence. We agreed, in addition, to make the principle of collective defense uh, even more evident by organizing NATO troops into multinational corps. And third, uh, the London Declaration transforms NATO's nuclear strategy. 